Today is a special day for our Beaumont guitar fish. It's lobster day. They only get lobster once a week, so it's an exciting day for them. There's questions about bowmouth guitarfish. Are they a shark? Are they a stingray? Are they a fish? And the answer is yes, they are all of those things. They're one of my favorite animals just because of how unique they look. Bowmouth guitarfish are found along the coastlines of the Indian Ocean. So you would find them normally around reef beds that are teeming with crustaceans and lobster, which is what they typically eat. I'm just gonna take a look in the shallow end of the exhibit and see if I see them because if I don't, then that's a pretty good sign that they're down where their station is ready to eat. Not a lot is known about the bowmouth guitarfish as a species. They're one of the most rare species in the world and in Aquaria. It's a privilege to have them here. There she is. Oh yeah, I think she's hungry today. Hi, big mama. You're looking big today. We have three bowmouth guitarfish here at Georgia Aquarium. Big Mama is one of my favorite animals to work with. She just is very relaxed in her demeanor. Hi, Big Mama. She's a little impatient this morning. She's already coming up the wall waiting for her target. Be patient. It's just about time for them to eat, so we're gonna put the target in. Some of our animals require an auditory cue, like a bang on the wall or a jingle. The bowmouth have never used one. They find the target as their visual and come right up the wall. Sassy, are you first? Come here, lady. Take it. Good job. All right, this is the male coming up. Are you gonna behave? It's like, it's the good good today. It is the good good today. Woo! Good job, dude. A bowmouth guitarfish's jaws and teeth are extremely powerful. It can be very painful if your fingers were to get in the way of that. So we have trained our bowmouths to flip over on their backs so we can safely see where our hand is in relation to their mouths. Big Mom is coming up. Come on, honey. We are keeping an extra eye on Big Mama. Okay. Look at that belly. We suspect that she may be pregnant. In the last couple of years, the male really has given her a lot of attention. She has been eating a lot more, so that could be a possibility as well that she's just gaining a little bit of fluff, but I'm optimistic that she might be carrying some babies. Good job. In aquariums in general, there really has only been a couple other successful births. If she's pregnant, then this will be the first successful birth for the aquarium. That might be it. They've left the area. The plan for Big Mama is to bring her into our holding pool so that the vets can do an ultrasound and hopefully see if there are any pups in her belly. The bowmouth guitarfish is critically endangered, so the fact that we are possibly able to increase that population here at Georgia Aquarium, that's a huge step for their species. Flipping her, correct? Yes, you yeah, we'll flip her over. She's a big girl. I know, so we're hoping that there's babies in there or she's gonna get a diet. <laughs> over the last few months, I've seen Big Mama's belly a little bit bigger than what we normally see from her. Big Mama is currently in our holding pool. This morning, Dr. Chelsea is gonna do an ultrasound and see if she's pregnant. Three of us are gonna need to be in the net with her though. Once she settles a little bit, we're gonna flip her over. I can try and be on the head, and then the two of you um, will have to like tag team the tail because she's gonna be real wiggly and that tail is super powerful. <laughs> Performing an ultrasound on a bowmouth guitarfish is not a small task. It requires a lot of hands. It requires topside assistance as well as in-water assistance so that we can hold her while the vets are able to ultrasound her belly. Thank you. 
Up. Good. Good. There you go. Okay. All right, here we go. Her heart rate's 40. 40? 40. I know they have to look at everything top to bottom from her eyes to her heart to the tip of her tail. But this suspense is killing me. Slimmer's good. What was that? There's some things. Baby things? Oh, this thing. It looks like a tail. <laughs> Something's having a party over there. It's a baby. <laughs> I can see the door so <laughs> All right, done. So we're seeing at least one pup on the ultrasound, but that doesn't mean that there's only one in there. They can have up to 11 pups, so there is a very good chance that there are more hiding behind this one that we just haven't seen yet. What a good mama. She's living up to her name. She's <laughs> 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 The bowmouth guitarfish species is very rare, so there's not a whole lot known about how long it takes um, for a full-term pup to be born. She won't be spending her entire pregnancy in our holding pool. Similar to a human, they don't spend their entire pregnancy in the hospital. They go back home and where they're comfortable, and then when it's closer time to give birth, then they'll come back. I'm definitely gonna name them after guitars, too. 